Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, partyants. Shelby is already looking for her pumpkin again. It's up here, though. It's up here. It's right here. Here's your pumpkin. Thanks, Mom. I would take that. Thanks. Are you going to cry? Are you going to squeak it? <laughs> is that yours? Is that your pumpkin? Yeah, it makes you pretty happy, huh? Yeah. You're goofy. What if I take it from you? Can I take your pumpkin? I'm gonna take your pumpkin. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take your pumpkin. She's like, um, hey, that's my pumpkin. Is that your pumpkin? Yeah? That's yours, huh? <laughs> You're silly. So I have already been out doing some running around. Our company is coming tomorrow, so we still have a lot of stuff to get done. I went to the post office, got a few things done. But there was a package at the post office from one of you guys and it said open before Halloween so I cut the box but that's all I did now we're gonna open it and see what's in it oh I don't want to flip it over here let's set this down so this is what was in it and it looks like a blanket it looks like a, oh, there's something else oh Oreos got a little oh, rocky road trip Oreos Careful pulling out contents. Individual, what does it say? Something, some Oreos. Oh, okay. Let's open this up. Oh, it's from Barbara, Wayne, Sean, Ian, and Emma the dog. Let's open this up. That is a really cool pop-up card. That's so cool. All right, let's, let's unfold this blanket and check it out. Memphis is like, I like it. Look! It says simply meant to be. That's my favorite line from the whole movie. And it's got Jack and Sally on it. Look how cool that is. That's pretty awesome. And yeah, I'm glad I opened it before Halloween. Thanks for sending that. That's so cool. Memphis is like, I'm stealing this blanket for me. It's not for you. It's not for you. <laughs> Look who's back. Back again. Squirrel friend's back. Don't tell the dogs. <laughs> Jamie just filled the feeders this morning. I think they figured out there's food in them already. Why is it sitting up there though, buddy? There's food in the feeder. So the last few videos where we've showed the black squirrels in the videos, a lot of you guys really are blown away by the black squirrels. We have tons of them up here. They're very common in Northern Michigan. I think they start in like the Ohio area and then North we have black squirrels. Um, we do have gray squirrels and red squirrels as well. Red squirrels are not as common here. Gray squirrels kind of. I think black squirrels are prob probably the most prominent color we have up here. I think they're cute. Oh, he's, he's going for it. He's going for the feeder. He's like, okay, it's been quiet long enough. There he is, munching away. Yep, we're watching you. We're totally watching you, buddy. Throwing stuff all over the place. You're so cute. Look at all the mess he's making. He's still cute. I do like the squirrels. They will have that thing empty by today though. It'll be gone. <laughs> Are we on day two of this pumpkin being your favorite toy in the whole wide world? What if I just, what if I just, what if I do this? What if I take it? I don't know what it is. I have your pumpkin, Shelby. <laughs> I have your pumpkin. <laughs> Why's your leg twitching? Oh, Why's your leg twitching? <laughs> there you go. You wanna sing? Really, Memphis? Really? <laughs> You're goofy. <laughs> Give me that pumpkin, right? Sing! That was very pretty. I'll give you a pumpkin back. <laughs> There's somebody else in Alpena that has a house just as cool as ours! Right. And I think the reality of it is, is I think their house might even be cooler than ours. Oh, because, yeah. Because, holy that's... cow, they have the LED lights that change colors. Yeah. I applaud these people. I'm yep. so glad somebody else in Alpena has the same 
They but, got a little spaceship on the garage roof. It's so cool! But it does make me want to start getting those LED lights and collecting <laughs> them. I love it. I love it. It's so awesome. I'm so excited! <laughs> so apparently, I'm taking everything out of the cabinet here except my Red Wing stuff. Putting all my Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in here. I was gonna paint the inside of it first, but we have company coming tomorrow, so I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I don't know how many of you guys actually know this, but um, I used to collect carousel horses and carnival glass. It used to be something I collected a lot of. I used to have a lot more horses. I only have a few left still. These ones down here are ones I actually painted myself. Yep. I used to collect those and I used to collect Disney snow globes, but not so much anymore. It's hard to do when you don't really have a place to put them. So minus the Red Wing stuff, which I moved to the bottom, which eventually is probably going to get moved to the basement. It's going to have to because I have a couple more things I need to add here. It turned out pretty good for my Nightmare Before Christmas display. So this is kind of like my year-round Halloween display. This will be up year-round. I won't take this down all the time. It turned out pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the new Funkos I got for the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. I have Oogie with everything on and with everything off. These are the ones I had. I had quite a few of these. But these four over here, I believe, are new. I thought I had one other new one, but maybe not. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good. I knew I had more of these. I had the clown and I have Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Lock, Shock, and Barrel. They were in the office, so now I'm going to have to shift some things around and fit them in here. A little crammed in there, but I got them in there. So now all the Funkos are on one shelf. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Accomplishment number two of the night. Even though there's only like five days till Halloween, I got my Halloween stuff out. <laughs> uh, so the idea is now that I moved the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff from up here, I'll be able to change out the fireplace kind of seasonally. I've got to put a couple things away still. But that way I can kind of do seasons up here, which I've always really wanted to do. So it's kind of neat. The dogs were a great help. They slept the whole time. Great encouragement. You're pretty encouraging, huh, Shelby? Shelby's like, I'm just mad because you stole my pumpkins. She's freaking out about these things. So, oh, I see you. I'm not going to squeak it. I won't squeak it. But I'm afraid because the bottom of it has the way the squeaker is, I'm afraid it's going to fall out. So she can't play with it when we're not around. What? <sighs> is that yours? That That's your pumpkin? Yeah. That's your pumpkin, huh? You silly dog. I love you. <laughs> You're ready for bed. You were just sound asleep in that beanbag chair. Yeah, you were. And then we got Memphis over here sprawled out underneath the desk. On the heater, as usual. We're calling it a night, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow starts the insanity of pumpkin carving. Oh, boy. We hope you guys enjoy today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. You look so comfy sunk into that big giant beanbag chair. You're pretty dang cute, Shelby. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.